stuff is here, and you have your hands full <laughs> as uh, the weather started to change. That's right. Uh, come this weekend, we're going to notice uh, some probably big changes, especially mm -hmm. come next week with uh, temperatures. We have a couple of uh, snow-capped uh, mountains ourselves here in Oregon. Uh, matter of fact, a lot of them here in Oregon as well as Washington. Look at Meadows right now, 36 degrees. Perfect day to get up there. Oh, wow, some blue sky out there. We had Portland at 40 right now, 39 for Skamania. Great sunset going on there. And at Lincoln City, 48 degrees. And the clouds have kind of socked us in at this time. And that's because cold fronts just about to approach uh, parts of the coast. And it's going to move eastward. 40s for the I-5 corridor. Warmer along the coast there. Upper 40s, 39 degrees at Hood River as well as the Dalles. Pendleton, 37 and colder off to the southeast, Burns at 21 and Baker City at 24. Here's this cold front I was talking about. This area of low pressure is tracking off to the northeast. It's losing some heat. It's in a, a stage, a dissipation stage, so it's weakening. But as this cold front does move on in, it's going to bring in a chance for some spotty rain showers this evening. Valley rain right around 9 o'clock likely, but could approach a little bit earlier than that. The coast has already seen some light rain showers from uh, Astoria, and that's about it. <laughs> Everywhere off to the south is doing okay at this time, but our friends up in uh, Seattle are definitely seeing that rain. So again, this is all weakening, but it will eventually move off to the southeast and bring in some light showers as we head into this evening. Here's four o'clock. Notice that's kind of what we've been seeing on the radar. Uh, clouds starting to approach us here in the northern Willamette Valley. If you're off to the south, uh, still dry. And if you're on the east side of the state, nothing but clear skies at this time. So it's going to be a quiet finish for your day. Uh, here's 1030. There's when the stretch that cold front does move through Portland up to Vancouver, down to Salem, likely some rain showers and then snowfall for the southern uh, Cascades there up in Washington. And then this all sags off to the south. We get into tomorrow morning, maybe still a few spotty showers out there, some light fog and snow for the Cascades. East side of the state, different story. Areas like Pendleton likely to see some snowfall and stretching down towards Madras and Bend to start off the day. But the second part of our Friday is going to be wonderful. Look at this. It clears out really quick. By the time we get towards lunchtime, I expect nothing but sunshine here uh, through Portland into the Dalles. And then our next system moves on in Saturday night. So we'll have some nice dry time late Friday and to start off our weekend on Saturday before our second disturbance moves on in. Here's again 6 o'clock on Saturday. Notice that we can still see some more snowfall, additional snowfall at least for the Cascades. What we're going to watch is going to be late Saturday through the overnight into Sunday where we could have some decent snowfall. Now this weather model is pushing everything pretty much out of here by lunchtime for us in the valley, but east of the state, look at this. Wow, expecting a lot of snowfall. If you're doing any sort of traveling, it could be an issue. So this is why I'm tracking some cold winter air beyond this system. The first week of January, temperatures in the 20s and teens. It's going to be very cold out there. It's all because we're going to have this jet stream kind of bring and pull in this cold Canadian air and it's going to leave us with those cold temperatures, sort of an Arctic blast you could say as high as below uh, freezing and lows in the teens. So it's going to be definitely a cold one out there. I'll show you here on the seven day when we have to really worry about this. Saturday and Sunday, that's that week disturbance. Some rain, a wintry mix for New Year's Eve. Maybe a little uh, wet out there if you're heading home and then a chance for snow on Sunday. But wow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, those temperatures in the upper 20s to the lower 30s. And overnight temperatures in the teens, so it's going to be cold, definitely cold. A good time uh, now to download our weather app because come Saturday and Sunday, uh, you'll definitely want to check out the radar. We have updated forecasts just for you right there on your phone. I have it. It's a great tool uh, to really keep in your pocket. But still, uh, it's going to get cold. Uh, get the jackets. Get all the good stuff ready. Mm -hmm. At one point, it said 17 as the low. Now we're down at 15. Each yeah. time yeah. You, we see you, you're going lower. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Certainly something to keep our eye on. Thanks, Joseph. Still to come, could you